Uh, hi, I'm Aishwarya Shankar. I'm the program manager for Prabha. When Prabha joined his fellowship, the kids had already completed one year with Alpana, so they had already received that one year of intervention. But even after that one year, uh, they were just beginning to read. So, in terms of significant ach academic achievement, I there weren't too many things because at that point they were just beginning to comprehend text and start uh, learning how to read. Uh, and But the main thing that I found to be lacking was just the confidence and the self-awareness that uh, children in other schools uh, often had. So Prabha is a very idealistic person and he believes in the goodness of the world around him. So even the vision that he's set for his children is rooted in very high expectations. So he wants his children to be on grade level uh, in terms of academics. In terms of values, uh, they, he wants them to constantly question each other as well as the teacher because uh, nothing is set in stone. Right? So he, keep, he wants them to ask a lot of questions and understand by comprehending that and not just questioning but also questioning in a very respectful way and through this process becoming more aware of themselves as well as the world around them. Uh, if the children can articulate their thinking then that will enable them to be at a far more greater place because uh, the output can keep improving each time. So I would say that the children are definitely on track uh, in meeting Prabha's vision because 60% of them are just a le level below achieving their grade level which is phenomenal. So this is one classroom where there is equitable growth in terms of reading levels and comprehension. The children have been performing well consistently even in Samachir exams, which is the state level corporation school exams. And I find that the children are very confident when it comes down to articulation, the kind of questions that they ask, the, the responses that they give. Very strong critical thinking is evident in every aspect. They are very clear in terms of their interest, their passion, where they want to be and how they can get there. A lot of habits that I mentioned uh, just a while back are not something that I've observed only when Prabha is there. Even on the days when he was absent, I find a lot of student-led things happening in the class. And even in the absence of the teacher, there is continuous learning that is uh, maintained irrespective of the environment. So I feel very confident that the same thing can be taken forward uh, to the next year and beyond. So one of the key student successes that I saw in the last few months was that uh, the student-led DFC projects that happened in his class recently. So the students themselves organized themselves into two, three different groups and they brainstormed and came up with different problems that they want to solve together as a team and they went about doing it and uh, it was a huge success. Uh, the main reason why Prabha decided to do a Design for Change pro uh, project in his class was to enable his children to become uh, more self-aware about the problems that existed in the community around them, which formed a big part of his vision. So uh, the main things that the students did together was number one, to have a behavior management system in place for the schools. So I found that a lot of children were essentially marking lines, getting children in order, like taking them through different procedures that would establish safety in the school. Uh, the second was uh, environment. So there were a lot of places that were not very clean within the school compound itself. So they did something, something like the ugly Indian project so more like spot fixes within the school. And uh, the third one was to co-teach another primary classroom. So they found that to be a great learning opportunity in terms of how they would be if they were teachers and they were to lead a classroom. So uh, a lot of children actually uh, taught football to the second grade uh, Teach for India classroom here. He has a very lovely relationship with the students. There is a lot of trust, there is a lot of joy, and uh, there is a lot of respect, mutual respect that uh, exists. So the students are being respected for 
where they are in their own journey and the students also respect him for that. So there is that inherent joy that's present.